With its iconic landmarks like the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and the Vatican, Rome is a treasure trove of ancient wonders waiting to be explored. But Rome isn't just about the past. The city is also a thriving metropolis with plenty of modern attractions. Let's dive into the heart of Rome and discover its endless charm and beauty. Rome is a city that never fails to inspire and amaze its visitors. As the capital of Italy, Rome is a treasure trove of cultural and historical landmarks, each one telling a story of the city's rich and fascinating past. From the Grand Colosseum, where gladiators once battled, to the awe-inspiring architecture of the Pantheon, Rome offers endless opportunities to experience history like never before. So get ready to immerse yourself in the history and beauty of this timeless city and discover why Rome truly is the eternal city. If you've enjoyed watching this video, we kindly ask you to consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Welcome to Journeying. Number 10 of our list is Colosseum. The Colosseum stands tall and proud, an iconic symbol of ancient Rome's might and power. This impressive amphitheater was built in AD 80, and it is considered one of the greatest engineering feats of its time. It was used for various events, from gladiatorial contests and public spectacles to mock sea battles and animal hunts. As you approach the Colosseum, you can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. The scale of the structure is massive, with towering arches and impressive columns, and it's easy to imagine the sounds of cheers and battles that once echoed through the arena. As you step inside, you're transported back in time, imagining the gladiators preparing for battle, the crowds cheering on their favorite fighters, and the excitement of the games unfolding before your eyes. Walking through the Colosseum, you can't help but feel a sense of reverence for the history that took place here. Number nine of our list is Pantheon. Moving on to the Pantheon, you'll discover another impressive architectural masterpiece. The Pantheon was built in AD 118, and it's one of the best preserved ancient Roman buildings in the world. The Pantheon's dome is still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome, and it's a testament to the ingenuity and skill of ancient Roman engineers. As you step inside the Pantheon, you're greeted by the breathtaking sight of the dome's oculus, a circular opening in the roof that lets in natural light. The oculus is a marvel of engineering, designed to distribute the weight of the dome evenly and to let in air and light. The Pantheon's architecture and design are a testament to the glory and grandeur of ancient Rome, and it's easy to get lost in the beauty and wonder of this ancient building. Whether you're a history buff, an art enthusiast, or simply a curious traveler, the Colosseum and the Pantheon are two must-see destinations that will leave you with memories to last a lifetime. Number eight of our list is Vatican City. Vatican City is a city-state surrounded by the city of Rome, and it's the smallest country in the world. It's also home to some of the most impressive and awe-inspiring landmarks and attractions in the world, including Street Peter's Basilica, the Sistine Chapel, and the Vatican Museums. As you approach Vatican City, you'll immediately notice the grandeur and magnificence of the architecture. Street Peter's Basilica is the largest church in the world, and its dome is visible from most parts of Rome. Inside the basilica, you'll be mesmerized by the intricate details of the mosaics, sculptures, and paintings, each telling a story of its own. Next, you'll make your way to the Sistine Chapel, where you'll marvel at Michelangelo's masterpiece frescoes that adorn the ceiling and walls. The Sistine Chapel is also the place where the Pope is elected, making it an important religious and cultural landmark. Finally, you'll explore the Vatican Museums, which house some of the most extensive and impressive art collections in the world. From classical sculptures to Renaissance paintings, the Vatican Museums offer a wealth of art and history that will leave you awestruck.
Moving on to the Roman Forum, which is going to be number seven of our list. You'll be transported back in time to ancient Rome, where this area was the center of public life. The Forum was the site of important political, social, and religious events, and it was the heart of the Roman Empire. As you explore the Forum, you'll discover a wealth of impressive ruins, including the Temple of Saturn, the Temple of Vesta, and the Arch of Titus. You'll also learn about the political and cultural significance of this area, from the speeches delivered by Cicero to the gladiatorial games and public spectacles that entertained the masses. Number six of our list is Piazza Navona. Piazza Navona is one of Rome's most beautiful and charming squares, located in the heart of the city's historic center. The square is famous for its stunning Baroque fountains, grand architecture, and lively atmosphere. As you stroll through the square, you'll notice the stunning Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi, or Fountain of the Four Rivers, which depicts four river gods representing the four major rivers of the world. You'll also see the Fontana del Moro or Moor Fountain, which features a sculpture of a moor fighting a dolphin, as well as the Grand Baroque Church of Santa Agnes in Agon. Piazza Navona is a popular spot for locals and tourists alike, and it's a great place to sit back and people watch. You'll find street performers, artists and vendors selling souvenirs and snacks, adding to the lively and festive atmosphere. Next, number five, you'll make your way to the Spanish Steps, another popular destination in Rome. The Spanish Steps are a series of 138 steps that lead from the Piazza di Spagna to the Trinita dei Monti Church at the top of the hill. The Spanish Steps are named after the Spanish Embassy to the Holy See, which was located nearby. Today, the Steps are a popular meeting place for locals and tourists, and they offer stunning views of the city below. At the bottom of the steps, you'll find the beautiful Barcaccia Fountain, which was designed by giant Lorenzo Bernini and his son. The fountain features a boat-shaped structure that seems to float on the water, and it's a great spot for a photo op. Number four of our list is Villa Borghese. Villa Borghese is one of Rome's most beautiful and expansive public parks, covering over 80 hectares of land. The park is a popular destination for locals and tourists alike, and it's home to several museums, galleries, and landmarks. As you wander through the park, you'll come across several notable sites, including the Galleria Borghese, which houses an impressive collection of art and sculptures by Bernini, Caravaggio, and other Italian masters. You'll also see the stunning Pincio Terrace, which offers breathtaking views of the city below. Villa Borghese is also home to several gardens, fountains, and lakes, providing a peaceful and tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. The park is a popular spot for picnics, strolls, and outdoor activities, making it a great destination for families and couples. Next, you'll make your way to Trastevere, where top best destination on number three of our list. Trastevere is one of Rome's most charming and picturesque neighborhoods. Trastevere is located on the west bank of the Tiber River, and it's known for its narrow cobblestone streets, colorful buildings, and lively atmosphere. As you explore Trastevere, you'll discover a wealth of hidden gems, from small trattorias and coffee shops to artisan boutiques and street markets. You'll also see several notable landmarks, including the Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere, which is one of the oldest churches in Rome and features stunning mosaics and frescoes. Trastevere is also a popular destination for nightlife, with plenty of bars, pubs, and clubs offering a vibrant and energetic scene. The neighborhood is a great place to experience the authentic Roman lifestyle, with its friendly locals, rich culture, and vibrant history. Number two of our list is Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain is one of Rome's most iconic landmarks, and it's also one of the city's most visited sites. 
Located in the heart of Rome's historic center, the fountain is a masterpiece of Baroque architecture and sculpture. Legend has it that if you toss a coin over your left shoulder into the fountain, you'll ensure your return to Rome. It's estimated that over 3,000 euros are thrown into the fountain every day, and the money is donated to charity. But the Trevi Fountain isn't just a superstition. It's a work of art that tells the story of the city and its culture. The fountain was designed by the architect Nicola Salvi and completed in 1762 by the sculptor Pietro Bracci. It features a massive, ornate structure of travertine stone and marble, with a central niche that contains a sculpture of the sea god Neptune riding in a shell-shaped chariot pulled by seahorses. Last but not least, we have the one of the most spectacular things about Rome is its panoramic views. From the top of its hills, you can enjoy breathtaking vistas of the city, its monuments, and its ancient ruins. Here are some of the best spots to take in Rome's stunning panoramas. First, head to the Janiculum Hill, which is located on the west side of the Tiber River. From the top of the hill, you'll have an unparalleled view of Rome's historic center, including Street Peter's Basilica, the Pantheon, and the Colosseum. The Janiculum Hill is also home to several parks and gardens, making it a great spot for a leisurely stroll or a picnic. Next, visit the Pincio Terrace, which is located in the Villa Borghese Park. The terrace offers panoramic views of Rome's skyline, including the Vatican, the Spanish Steps, and the Quirinal Palace. The terrace is also home to several statues, fountains, and gardens, making it a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Together, these panoramic views offer a unique and unforgettable perspective on Rome's beauty, history, and culture. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time visitor, taking in Rome's stunning panoramas is an experience you won't want to miss. If you love the videos, please hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Happy travels!